Hey guys, hope you're all doing well wherever you might find yourself and welcome back to our channel and a new video. The Stormers and VP had a shit weekend past and this is one of those weekends that everybody wants to forget as soon as possible. But both teams face formidable opponents, Stormers Munster and VP the Lions, but unfortunately both teams fell short of securing a victory. The match between the Stormers and Munster was a tough encounter that showcased intense physicality and tactical prowess. However, in my opinion, the Stormers kicked the whole game away. And I so wish that there was some sort of person on the team that could have told them to stop kicking, play through your phases, feed the ball to the backline. Maybe someone like the coach, the kicking coach, or even the captain. But not one of these were there on Saturday. A kick is as only as good as the runner that can chase that kick down, but nobody chase kicks and that is calling giving possession away. And what pissed me off more than anything else was them falling over their own feet in the first half. Wrong stats. And I mean a primary school kid could have explained that, but clearly they did not have one of those around. You are playing on your field in South African weather. It should have been a positive, but halfway through the match they looked tired and defeated. One area where the Stormers could have improved is their lineout execution. They lost crucial lineouts during the game, and why the Stormers must always go for lineout kicks is beyond me. They know they don't have a hooker that is consistent in throwing in the ball. Take the three points, get the ball back, and start over. But this allowed Munther to gain possession and launch counter attacks. By focusing on their set piece play and again by practicing their line out throws, the Stormers could have gained valuable territory and disrupted Munster's momentum. Another aspect that the Stormers could have addressed is their breakdown work. Munster capitalized on turnovers and secured quick ball, making it challenging for the Stormers to regain position. By committing more players to the breakdown and ensuring better body position, the Stormers could have disrupted Munster's ruck and slowed down the attacking opportunities. Lastly, the Stormers had some promising moments in attack, but struggled to convert them into points. They missed a few critical kicks and failed to capitalize on try scoring opportunities deep in the Munster territory. By being more clinical in their finishing and maintaining composure under pressure, the Stormers could have put more points on the board and created a different outcome. The Western Province mess was a mirror image of the Stormers game. Kicking the game away, not being able to play on a wet field, not converting points, going for line-out kicks and not winning your line-outs. And I could not find any footage or highlights of this game anywhere on the internet. It's almost like the one I erase this game from history. I should have recorded it, but I did not. VP's defensive discipline proved to be a challenge in this match. They conceded several penalties and allowed the Lions to gain easy points from kicks. By maintaining a better line integrity, communicating efficiently and avoiding unnecessary penalties, VP could have denied the Lions crucial scoring opportunities and swung the momentum in their favour. Game management was an area where VP could have improved. They struggled to control the tempo of the game and adapt to the changing circumstances. Same as the Stormers. Yeah, by half time they looked tired and defeated. By implementing a more structural game plan, making tactical substitutions at the right time, and effectively managing the game's flow, VP could have exerted more control and put the Lions under greater pressure. Lastly, VP had some issues with discipline at set pieces, particularly scrums. They conceded penalties and allowed the Lions to gain territorial advantages and put VP on the back foot. By refining their technique, maintaining a strong bind and addressing any issues and their scrum stability, VP could have gained more solid foundation and has erupted the Lions attacking platform. I'm almost done and in conclusion this was the perfect opportunity for VP players to prove why they should have been chosen for the Stormers team after the Stormers dismal performance but it only showed why they were left out of the team because they played worse. Let me know what you guys think about this dismal weekend and thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to be updated on new videos because this channel focuses on sports and movies and shows so if that is something you like subscribe it's free to do and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like my content. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.